Guacamole, the Wall Street bombing, and a ballistic missile are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is September 16th, 2022. It is the 259th day of the year. You got 106 days left in 2022, so start getting ready. Today is the 37th Friday in the 37th week, and it is the 88th day of summer. You got six days left until fall. Today is National Guacamole Day. National Guacamole Day on September 16th brings fresh flavors together in a perfect celebration. That's what the website says. Avocados shine as the star of this dip. Lime juice, tomatoes, onions, and seasoning make guacamole a guilt-free addition to any snack or meal. That's also from the website. Guacamoles are made from avocados, obviously, and avocados are considered to be a superfood. So it's actually pretty healthy. I'm sure the sodium that you put in there with the seasoning and stuff isn't great. Obviously, it's not great, but guacamole, for the most part, is a pretty healthy snack. I mean, it's definitely better than cupcakes. I mean, I love cupcakes more than guacamole, but if I gotta, you know, get healthy, I'll go with guacamole, I guess. Guacamole originated with the Aztecs in Mexico, and it's now made its way onto the American table. Other recipes include hot sauce, yogurt, other seasonings, jalapenos, chilies, red peppers. Yeah, put a lot of things in uh, guacamole. All right, let's see what else September 16th has given us. 1893, settlers make a land run for prime land in the Cherokee Strip of Oklahoma. This was a very interesting part of American history that, you know, as we were expanding west, they were trying to get settlers to move out there, and one of the things was they were giving away free land. There was some minor things like you had to register, and there's a little fee to that, but you weren't plopping down at the time, you know, hundreds of dollars for property. I did a video about this before, and it's really interesting. There was a few of these land runs. I think it was a Tom Cruise movie called Far and Away, where they kind of, that was part of, that was the climax to the movie, was this land run. They'd come all the way from Ireland to the United States and made their way out to like Oklahoma for this big land run. In the movie, he <laughs> gets this horse for the land run. Now he's from Ireland. He doesn't know anything about horses really. And so he goes to this man to buy a horse and he goes, I need the fastest horse you can because it's a race to get the best land, right? And so he wants to get out there as fast as possible. And he knows nothing about horses. So he gives this guy like his last dime for the fastest horse the man has. He ties it up to a post, goes into this store, comes out after having a couple drinks drinks and his horse is laying there dead. He's like, what happened? He's looking at his horse. This old man walks up and goes, that there is the oldest horse I ever seen standing. Pretty good movie, but interesting part of American history. 1920, the Wall Street bombing. A bomb in a horse and wagon explodes in front of the J.P. Morgan building in New York City, killing 38 and injuring 400. 1943, World War II, the German 10th Army reports that it can no longer contain the Allied bridgehead around Salerno. 1945, World War II, the Japanese occupation of Hong Kong comes to an end. Now, this was quite a thing. Japan in the mid-1930s was expanding into different parts of Asia. They'd taken over Beijing, China, and Shanghai, and Hong Kong was a colony of the United Kingdom, and the colonists there started getting a little nervous, and they prepared for war. In October of 1938, Japanese forces landed at BS Bay, which is a little north of Hong Kong. Kong. Now, this was a big problem because Hong Kong was like the last port to get supplies into China and a lot of the other British colonies in the area. In 1938, about 40% of all the supplies that China was getting from the Allies to help them with the war effort were going through Hong Kong. As the unavoidable invasion of Hong Kong neared, refugees started flooding into the city. The government of Hong Kong started sending out any Europeans or Americans or anything. They were putting them on boats and getting them out of the way before a blockade happened or anything like that. Well, the blockade eventually did happen. And on December 8th, 1941, the Japanese ground offensive went off. They expected to be in Hong Kong within two days and take it completely over within four. It didn't pan out that way. Canadian, British, Indian, France and Chinese troops, along with some Hong Kong defenders, put up a decent fight. But Hong Kong eventually fell on Christmas Day 1941. And the Japanese held on to it until this day in 1945. 1955, a Soviet Zulu-class submarine becomes the first to launch a ballistic missile. 30 years later, I had to hide underneath my desk for bombing drills. 1979, eight people escaped from East Germany to West Germany in a homemade hot air balloon. 
1992, the trial of the deposed Panamanian dictator Manuel Noriega ends in the United States with a 40-year sentence for drug trafficking and money laundering. That is your word of the day, depose. Depose means to remove from office suddenly and forcefully. In law, it can mean to testify or give evidence on oath, typically in a written statement. 2019, five months before the COVID-19 stock market crash, an overnight spike in lending rates in the United States prompts the Federal Reserve to conduct operations in the repo market. Movies released on September 16th, Tonight You're Mine. This was a really good movie. I enjoyed it. Now, if you saw this movie outside the United States, it was actually called You Instead. And that's the title of a song that's in the movie. Actually, both of them are titles from different songs in the movie. Tonight You're Mine and You Instead. But it is a pretty interesting movie. It's cute. This successful American rock band is playing a festival in Scotland. And this British, you know, not as popular band of girls, they get in an argument with this bigger band. And <laughs> this couple are basically face to face yelling at each other. And this insane security guard comes over and tells them they need to learn how to get along together and puts hands handcuffs on them. So they're handcuffed together. Will they try and get them off and normal handcuff keys aren't working and they try and cut them off and it's not happening. So they spend the whole day together handcuffed and into the night and of course fall in love. Cute movie if you ever get a chance. Born on September 16th, 1925, B.B. King. Legendary blues guitarist, singer, and songwriter who won a Grammy Hall of Fame award in 1998 for the song The Thrill Is Gone. He grew up with his grandmother because his mother was too poor to take care of him. His mother's cousin, Buka White, gave him his first guitar. He named his electric guitar Lucille. In 2005, one of his biographers claimed that he had 50 grandchildren. He did a song with the band U2 years ago, and in the video it shows Bono, the lead singer of U2, going, okay, well, we want to start this off with a G and then move it. And he's all, no, no, man, just tell me how you want it to play. He goes, I don't do the chords. <laughs> Like, I was like, okay. He just played how he felt. You could see the confusion on Bono's face. He was the inspiration for Eric Clapton and Jimi Hendrix, among other historic guitarists. Died on September 16th, 1996, Gene Nelson. Screenwriter and director best known for his work on the classic sitcom, I Dream of Genie. He first wanted to be a dancer after being inspired by Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire films. He directed the film Harem Scarum, starring Elvis Presley. He had three children, Marilyn, Jean, and Miriam. And he also directed Elvis Presley in Kissin' Cousins. He was born right up the road from me, about an hour, in Astoria, Oregon in 1920. Gene Nelson died at the age of 76 from cancer in Los Angeles on this day in 1996. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a productive day, and be nice to each other.